Sports. Uh, sitting here with the undefeated Canile Bulana and undefeated opponent coming up against uh, in Italy, Rome to be exact. Uh, how do you feel like you're ahead of this big opportunity? Oh, hey, oh, what I can say is that uh, I'd like to thank Cole for the opportunity and I would like to thank myself for believing in myself so to be this far. So about the opportunity, Hayden, you know, all I can say is that I'm very happy and I'm very fortunate to have such to have such uh, opportunity because most boxers always want to wish to fight uh, for a world title. But suddenly some never make it. So it's my chance then. I'm feeling great and I'm happy. I'll be your world title on the line. As we mentioned earlier, it's your big opportunity. He's a guy that's a big opponent for you. Obviously, you fought big fights, but this will definitely be the biggest fight of your career. Um, how, how, have you, how do you feel ahead of fighting a guy like him? Oh, all I can say is that uh, it's a big experience for me. And it's what I've been wanting to fight against uh, uh, popular guys, guys that are, that, that are so talented. And so fighting him is like, uh, what I can, uh, how can I put it? It's like, it's like, it's, it's like getting my dream. It's like getting my dream come true. Like I can say that because it's a it's, it's a dream come true though. Because he's a he's a he, he's he's a, he's the best in his country. So I'm just an underdog in my country, but I, I'm going there to take his title because I have to get that title though. Because I've been I have been dreaming about being a a world, a world champion. So this is my opportunity. You mentioned being the underdog, and that was going to be my next question about you know the underdog tag and every champion was once upon a time an underdog that took a chance and achieved greatness. The fact that you're an underdog now, um, does, that, does that play on your mind? Uh, no, bro. I won't say that, that it does play. Uh, or it does... Uh, the thing is that, is, is, is that Hayden, I've been an underdog. I was told you, eh? Yeah. And I'm cool in my dog house. Uh, is that uh, many people don't know me. Uh, I, didn't, I, I, I never had a, a, a much uh, good... Uh, so everyone just look at me and say, okay, okay, that can you, that can you live line. But then I have the heart, man. I'm a fighter, though. I was fighting since back in the day. So I love fighting. So being in the ring and fighting, this is what they, that is what I love. So being an underdog, that uh, doesn't discourage me anyway. So they can call me an dog. It doesn't matter. I'm still an underdog and I'm cool in my dog house. You're going to be flying to, to Rome, Italy. It's going to be one big experience for you traveling abroad and representing both yourself and your country in the same breath. Um, the fact that you're going overseas, are you excited about the opportunity? Oh, I'm very excited, Hayden, because uh, I'll be fighting for myself, thanks there, and I'll be fighting for my country, and I'll be fighting for Africa, and mostly I'll be fighting for my parents, so I'll dedicate this fight to my parents and to everyone that believed in me when everyone didn't believe in me. So. It's a, it's a big opportunity. I don't want to get emotional, but I will be the first one from my entire family to go outside and represent the family. So it's a big, it's a, it's a big chance for me, and I'm going to grab it with both hands. Have you been receiving like a lot of messages showing like the, um, from your family, showing the love and support uh, to going abroad and achieving your dreams? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my family, my mom. My brothers, my friends, and everyone, and, 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 and everyone who knows me. I've been uh, uh, receiving messages and they're wishing me good luck. So, yes. Did you ever imagine that Italy would be, you know, if you ever did leave the country, that Italy would be the country? Yeah, hey, I was shocked because I heard, the, I heard about the news, I think it was December, late December. Mid December, so I was very excited and I couldn't wait to come back in camp and prepare for the big fight. So going to Italy is like, oh man, from from where from from a small place in Snar Park, uh, moving. Uh, I moved to Topic 2018, so now I'm moving across the world to Italy to fight for IPO World Title. I'm very excited, man, and that's a big opportunity. Well, let's, let's, let's go deeper into that story, right? So you keep proving everyone wrong. Did you ever think when you started your boxing career that you'd be at this point? As I said before, it's every boxer's dream to become a world champion. I always dream about, about being a WBC champion because I watched boxing 
I grew up around people, um, the likes of the late Lundi Matundi, he was my inspiration. Yeah? I was inspired, very, very inspired by him. And the former two-time South African champion, he's my neighbor, Sabelo Chubata. So, and I have other boxers in my area, not uh, Kanavu, and the likes of Kola's Farm. So, I've been wishing, uh, like, okay, I saw them, they fought, they came, they came home with the SA title, so I set myself a bigger dream. So I said, okay, they done everything, so now I, I, I have to go forward and come back with the world title, because they came with South African titles in Snarr Park, and there were four, four of them, so they brought our South African titles. So I started winning a provincial title, it was Eastern Cape title, then I know, okay, now everything is getting serious. Mm. So I fought uh, for a South African title and I won it. And then I fought 2019, I fought for IPF, African title, then I won it. Now I'm going for a world, so I'm very fortunate and I guess I'm one in a million. Man. One in a million and you're getting to uh, travel and I want to get to the next step which is your opponent. Um, have you done much research on him? Have you had a look at him? Are you leaving that sort of stuff to the coaching staff? Like how do you deal with prepare, preparations for the uh, specific opponent you're going up against? Mm, all I can say Hayden, is that uh, it's, a, it's a trainer staff but then I have his clip so I'm, I'm watching him. Uh, I'm always motivated to watch him because every time I watch him I, I just want to work hard. Because I, I want, I want, I want, I want to beat him though. I'm going to beat him though. So every time I watch him, I'm like, I have to work hard. Because I know he's, a, he's an aggressive fighter, yeah? but he never met Kanyele Pulan. That's the thing. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you're undefeated yet, yet. So far, so good, right? So you can continue uh, the form. But let's let's look at him a bit deeper. Do you how how good do you think he is? Oh. Um, He's a good he's a good boxer, and I'm a better boxer. So that's 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 it. You you plan on I don't know. You don't want to give away any game plans, but I mean, <laughs> with an aggressive boxer, you sort of have to tame him somehow. I'm guessing. Is that sort of what you're looking at? I have to break him, just to take his confidence away from him. Then anything is possible. The fact that, and I'm not sure how fan bases work in the Eastern Cape, who supports who and that sort of thing, but do you think you're going to be prepared for, I'm not even sure if there's fans in Italy in the venue, but, you know, basically being in someone's backyard and having to dig even deeper, have you, have you thought about those sort of things? Uh, okay, many, uh, many people, uh, my fans, most of them ask me that, wouldn't that be a challenge? I said, no, I'm just there to take the title. So. I wouldn't be affected by anything, by anything. Even though the whole, the whole, if, even if they, 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 they allowed fans and they booing me, I don't care. At the end of the day, it's just me and McNeese in the four corners. So. When, you, when you get in the ring, you got a big fight because you know, you've been in some big fights lately. Do you get thrown off by some of the hype that's happened beforehand or is it literally once the lights go on, you know, it's a different story? It's a different story because once the lights goes off, and I'm just focusing on my opponent, and, he, and he's no more an opponent though. He's just an obstacle to my dreams. So... Have you heard anything, has he said anything about you before? Have you managed to get some clips on maybe some interviews that he's done? No, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen any clips, but I don't know. All right, so, well, Bulana, this is your big opportunity. Um, Give um, basically people back home a message from you, um, you know, this is a big opportunity, I'm sure you want to say some words. Okay, all I can say to my people, let me put it in class, Anne. Sure, go for it. And the Agulela Gumdo Onge on Castleo, little big land down to go yo, a slander on you. The Gulela Ban Bonga was a snarl pack of the solo of the Colela Gum. The Gulela family arm. The Gulela Wongum to be close, Wongum to be believable. The Taisha Bandia Menon represent them. Then I fight you in Golu and in the good talent of Funa. Your little bombambonga are because as a song as I'm a city, got a gay cabinets are begun in offenses and pump in the cover. Then you fight in Funbunis by being a colleague of Kundunja, the bullet.